Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, coming at you guys. Super exciting, fun vlog. Little day in the life. We're actually hanging out over Labor Day weekend. I'm not sure when you guys are watching this video. I am in civilian clothes. I know I already look like an actor. This is definitely uh, just selling you guys on that, right? So we're actually at Caleb and Brittany Almond's uh, storage locker, uh, makeshift shop, a little bit of everything. We're hanging out with these guys. Look at this. We're gonna show you some of the equipment. We're gonna go look at a job site. We're just trying to get away for a couple days. We decided to come to Ohio and hang out with them. There's the owner, Miss Brittany. How are we doing? Great. Awesome. <laughs> right on cue, right? Doing good, yes sir. You Absolutely, know? what's we got, up? We got Caleb Allman in the house. What's up, brother? How hey, are we man, doing? what's up? Thanks for visiting our humble abode here. Absolutely, bro. What's up, man? What do we got going on? Can we film in here? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, it's totally fine. It's a train wreck. We're running a... Wow. Yeah, we're running a company of four guys and, you know, nearly pushing a million dollar company out of like a tiny space. So we really, and this is to, this is to the point where it's inefficient, right? So this is not like actually cool that we're saving a lot of money on rent. Yeah. We actually pay a lot of money to have guys sit through crap. So this isn't exactly, <laughs> a good, really, you're, we're paying guys to dig through things to find things. And if you're having to look for things, you're wasting money. So keep that in mind. This is really like cool. Well, hey, I operate out of a 10 by 10 storage. So mine's about exactly from <laughs> here to here and maybe to the, the blue thing. So right. you, what, what is this, a 20 by 30? Uh, this is 1540. 1540, yeah, 1540. okay. So then wow. we got a bunch of outdoor storage, of course, you know, as you saw there. Wow, and, uh, makeshift shop tour. I literally just jumped out of the truck. I'm like, we're filming. Yeah, right, yeah. So we try to, you know, this is one of those things like it's organized chaos. We know where everything is, but it doesn't make it okay. Sure. Um, all this stuff goes out on kind of a daily and weekly basis. These boxes go on our stormwater jobs. They've got everything in them that they need uh, to do stormwater stuff. Yeah. Our little reversible compactor, that kind of floats around in different projects as needed. Absolutely. Stuff I think like I that. saw those at Tecla Block. Yeah, we actually bought it from there. Or the event. They were running a great special there. Yeah, yeah it was like so 1500 bucks. Thing. Yeah, it was a freaking Maybe? great deal. And Maybe. I think it's awesome, by the way. All right. Um, Jeez, oh diesel geez. fuel cell, that kind of goes in and out of trucks. This stuff right here, Brian, like I haven't used it. My guys say it is as good as everybody says it is. Okay. It's this pre-baled straw. Yeah. And it's got a, a polymer tackifier in it. So you put it down, you spread it down just like mulch. Okay. And then you water it and it locks in with that polymer. Really? My guys say, this stuff's like 12 bucks a bale. It's expensive. Okay. But they say it is freaking awesome. Like that whole pallet was like 500 bucks. I'm like, oh. No this. way. No, the guys say it is freaking sweet because it spreads out real, real accurate. The yeah. guys love that stuff. So just, well, hey, well, advice. listen to this. Cause we're just jumping in here and uh, I'm literally, we're in civilian clothes, hanging out. I'm vacation sorry about the lighting if it's not the best no it's not. um but we're uh, hanging down here on labor day weekend um why don't you give these guys like a little backstory a little history here if they don't know uh almond landscape and caleb and Brittany almond they're huge on instagram they have a great following some of the most um just fun down to earth people that you guys could ever imagine we just got done doing a almost two hour podcast fullerton unfiltered podcast but go into your guys's story like where, where are you guys at how long you guys have been doing this yeah again a little makeshift video here today sure man um yeah i'm caleb allman i'm the operations manager for our company which sounds way fancier than it is my wife Brittany, owns the company we okay. started it pushing almost 10 years ago now which is crazy wow. from a company i crashed prior so okay um i've been in contracting my, essentially now my whole adult working career and yeah. sub adult career um started out mowing grass just like everybody i've always wanted to get into construction landscape construction uh green i say green construction like environmental type construction okay and uh this has been like my kid contractor dreams in my life so absolutely seeing this and like i said this is not a fancy shop but we're, we're really trying to do low overhead because we're trying to put enough money away or as much money away as we can not paying rent to put it into something that's going to pay us back down the road right? right put it into hard real estate at some point so we're trying not to spend a bunch of money on rent yeah so we can put it into a mortgage on a property at some point uh for our shop we have a house but we yeah. have a shop facility and over here what do we got for vehicles it's a little bright out there but yeah. you got a couple trucks you want to go look at the trucks look yeah sure man hell yeah or you got some more in here uh, there's just what do we got this is operational stuff yeah i mean just concrete form boards poly sand this mantis tiller yeah is like this thing is silly handy. It's the craziest little thing, but for just dressing up around patios when we finish a construction. That, that so thing's really, cool. we got a couple of those. They're super great. That straw mulch is awesome. Well, all of these guys, you guys always want to see a shop tour of uh, Almond Landscape, right? And uh, I was like, you know what? If we get a quick second while we run down here, uh, we got to go check out the shop and the, everything because this is building my dream. Okay. Like I want to have a pole barn. Um, and I know you guys are talking about bigger property one day and we we're all talking back and forth and spinning the dream again, 
Forgive me, like we're not working today, guys. We're just hanging out. But I get to hang out with Almond Landscape. This is awesome, Caleb Almond in the flesh. All right, so let's look at the the truck's equipment. Sure, man. Do that yeah, real, real quick? quick. Yeah, we got stuff sitting on site. One of my my F550 dump truck went down Friday with a starter issue. Okay. So uh, it's sitting at a repair shop. Hashtag real heck. life. We've got old rusty, trusty here. This thing's on its way out. Okay. The, we we bought this truck a few years ago, but it's it's been can openered with trailers it's been it's had a hard life it's about to move on to the scrapyard in the sky i love it um but you know, each truck everything we have is outfitted with at least the bare minimum basics of like jumper cables first aid kits tourniquets okay. fire uh, fire extinguishers all that kind of stuff okay um so every truck is outfitted with that stuff we want the guys to be able to change tires or do whatever the heck they need to do on a job site at the most minimal or basic function and then on top of that, other basic tools, right? Yeah. Um, sure track trailers. We got a sure track dealer local, so everything is sure track. Heck yeah. Um, you know, they're, they've been good. Tra this trailer is a re not a replacement, but a duplicate of that one, and it's beefier. They've made some improvements on it, which okay. I freaking love this trailer, actually, because they made some really nice uh, improvements to the head wall there. Gotcha. And uh, some tie What's down points and all this other stuff. So. This, uh, this is the new one. The the new truck. Yeah, this is this is a great big uh, international 4300. What? And we just picked this up. It's dump body. It's got a fold down uh, side gate here. Look at this. It's I uh, got the DT 466 engine, which people say is a little underpowered. I thought it was the 469 whatever, engine. Whatever. Is it 466 uh, or 469? Four, <laughs> yeah, I can't remember that. DT 469. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So just for Brian. Just for Brian. So, oh my gosh. Um, but this thing is it's, huge. it's huge. It's stupid long. My guys don't like it, and there's a whole conversation there. We're gonna give it a, a try out for three or four months. Yeah. And if the guys continually just say we don't like it, we don't want to use it, we're gonna we're gonna trade out. Why didn't you get the seventy five thousand dollar dump truck, bro? Boy, I tell you, that's what <laughs> this we're at twenty five thousand in this thing right now, and I'm just messing. it doesn't work. No, but it's a great question, yeah. right? Because it's like oh, you your guy. Guys are wanting one thing, you're wanting this, you guys are both working together trying sure. to figure it out. Yeah, and we're trying to, and at a point we can afford it is the big thing, right? So we gotta yeah. be functional, it's gotta be able to do what we need to do, it's gotta be able to dump, it's gotta have the backpack toolboxes, it's gotta have all, all the these stuff sides on come it. off. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, these these sides these sides come out here, of course, but that side folds down. Wow. So it's wonderful for loading okay, pallets we'll material. We'll go around. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. So this is uh you know, you're what, 14, 15 years in business, you said? Uh 20, technically. 20. I don't want to get crazy about it, but okay. Um, Look at this, man. We're... You know, this truck, I love this truck, my guys don't, and that's the difference, right? So, wow. like, you got to communicate with the guys and make sure you're buying the stuff that they're actually going to use, not what you think is going to be usable. Because I'm not in the field anymore. I'm I'm in the office selling and, and managing. Dude, Our this Cat thing. Our Cat this thing's been wonderful. We bought it a few years ago. Absolutely love it. How much is this? A 20 grand, 50 grand? <clears throat> uh, this used was about 40,000. So, it had under 1,000 hours on it. And, and I'm here buying, like, I'm buying $14,000 lawnmowers freaking out. Dude, I'll tell you. Wow. Crazy expensive. Guys. I know, right? From when I was in lawn care, because I started out in lawn care and, like, you could buy a deep. This is how you know you're getting old, Brian. You start dating yourself, I guess. Like, yeah. <clears throat> when I was your age, we could buy a good, you know, rider for you know seven or eight grand. Yeah. And now they're thirteen something. Like, oh my god. Wow. So, um, that is awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah, this thing has turned a lot of revenue. This thing's been a wonderful purchase. I'm like, gosh, you did this. What do we got? Holy underwear. We got a nice scrape. Man, that sucks. That's new, but hashtag employees. It is. It happens. And I've I've put my share of dings and dents on things. Yep. Um, you know, you want your guys to like inform you when they do it but a swing like that somebody hit it when they swung around oh and they maybe not even didn't even know it Go. Little, a it's a little dimple <laughs> gives it character yeah sure yeah sure you know? does you're yeah. just another actor out there <laughs> another uh fake contract for doing yeah, youtube that right would be me, I reckon. That, that's all of us so yeah f-250 we just bought this year to replace the old rust bucket over there but now how do you like the rigid uh, toolbox Thank you, Brian, for asking. I thought you'd never ask. It's a great toolbox. Um, hey, by the way, all you guys that keep asking Caleb, he was uh, confiding in me. He's like, man, the number one question I get, it's not about the cat, it's not about the truck. It's how does they like this rigid toolbox? And so I'm like, the toolbox? He goes, I don't know what the affinity is with the toolbox. Yeah, it's, people ask all the time. It's crazy. Hey, if you watch this far in the video, you got to leave me a comment down below. How's the toolbox? How do, <laughs> how do you love the toolbox? That's the phrase that pays, okay? Uh, and do a big thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the video. Again, makeshift quick video here. Caleb showing us this whole uh, little setup here. and Well, not a little setup. This is a really impressive operation, dude. This well, is awesome, man. It's been the, the dreams of my co kid contractor self yeah. uh, coming to fruition and it's been a long road. How do you love the toolbox? Dude, love That's the toolbox. That's the phrase that right? pays. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got a dump trailer? <clears throat> yeah, dump trailer, love it. I wish, we bought one of these way too late in the game. Okay. I like, I mean, but I mean, we've had it for five or six years or something, but I should have bought one, one of the first things I ever bought in business. Yeah. Where, like you've got your dump insert, so you've got that that thing. This is number nine limestone, not number 69 limestone, but yeah. number nine limestone. Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> that's what we use for bedding material for paper patios. So about one inch of that over top of your 
your compacted base. Wow. I need a dust cover. Gosh darn it. What is this um, 7x14? Oh, this looks a little longer. Maybe 16? Yeah, I think it's 714, 716, something 716, like that. And I would recommend going no smaller than that. Yep. The great thing about dump trailers is <clears throat> they dump. You can still haul a skid steer in if you need. It's a little sketchy loading them. But they're so versatile. They're so great. And for about seven grand, like, Absolutely. man, it's a wonderful entry level rig if you can't afford a full dump, full full fledged dump truck or wow. anything like that. <clears throat> Highly recommend it. Tons of tool storage, tons of tools. We do, when we're on site and we damage irrigation or whatever the case is, like, we want to have everything we possibly need on site yep. to handle things. We don't want to make a trip to town to get a part or a piece or a tool. Sure. I'm allergic to that. I freaking hate that. And so you just rent this place month to month? Correct. Yeah. Basically? Yeah. It's okay. Essentially, yep. It's so reasonable. We, yeah, it's it's very reasonable. Okay, yeah, fair absolutely. Enough. Well, and we some trade wanna, some services once so, in a while. You know, everybody wants a big shop, and I'm like, well, you can just rent like storage lockers for a couple you hundred bucks. You absolutely can to get started. Absolutely. At this point, I want to be like I said, we're trying to keep our overhead as low as possible. We really need two of those units. Yeah. But we're just trying to, you know, that's one little place we can save some money. Lean and mean. And I, we are. We're trying to run lean and mean because I want to put money into a facility away from my house that I can sell in 30 years that I build equity in and sell and use that as part of my retirement chunk. There you so go. that's why I don't want to put my shop in my house. Well, that's so, a quick tour, man. I love yeah. it. I candy love com. It. Everybody loves candy com. This thing is wonderful. It swivels, dumps. This is a powered wheelbarrow. I'd highly recommend it. Even if you just do general landscaping, this thing gets rid of your wheelbarrows. It's on track, so it's general in yards. Yeah. This thing is legit. This thing is wonderful. And, you know, shout out to Andy Mulder and Jeremy Swihart for uh, being my mentors and influencers on buying this thing. It is the shit. It is so good. Excuse I love my it. language, Brian. I'm sorry. Oh, but I get so okay. pumped about that thing. It is awesome. This thing is sweet, dude. All <clears throat> um, right. We've gotten big on buying some bulk supply. We've really, it's crazy how much time, which translates to money that this saves, having materials on hand at the shop. So the guys need a couple rolls of ECM, erosion control mat, which is a straw blanket. Yep. They grab it, throw it in a truck. They don't have to go to a supplier and get it wasted an sure. hour or two. Same with the mulch. We buy semi loads of palletized mulch. That's a whole conversation in its own right. It's its own YouTube video. Yeah. As far as like bulk versus bag, <clears throat> we don't have a loader here. Okay. Or rarely, because it's usually on a job site, so we can't easily scoop up bag, you know, bulk mulch, right? Sure, so, sure. But we can sure throw 14 bags of a cubic yard mulch on a truck in no in no time. And then also for inventory purposes, wow. we know like four bags come back. We know what the inventory is exactly cubic yardage we have on hand if we need to calculate. Well, so. plus you're able to probably buy in bulk and save some money. Yeah, we buy, we get a great deal. We buy it by the semi load. Yep. And uh, we shop it out to a supplier that we you know deal with. Yep. And we get a great price on it, and it's still a little more than bulk, but it's sitting there. It's protected from the weather. Yeah. It's you know, and we just can control inventory so easily. It's you so got great. the enclosed trailer. Is that like the the crown jewel or? Yeah, it's just it's a hardscape trailer, and it gets parked on job sites. It's got everything we need in it to run a hardscape job, as far as tools and all that kind of stuff goes. Yep. I'm branded out very well. It's a mobile billboard, so you definitely want that. I love it. Clean and simple on the side, so people can see it. See we just did a uh, podcast about uh, trailer and vehicle wrap design. Yeah. I said simple is the way to go. Less is more. You Absolutely. have. Uh, what is this? I'd say eight and a half by thirty. It's a monster. It's yeah. a, a, a eight and a half twenty-four. Eight and a half twenty-four. It's probably t on the verge of too big. Okay. I wish it were a little shorter because getting it on site is kind of a pain in the rear sometimes. It's so big. But I love the simple design, and then you got uh, a little bit of wrap on the back for yeah. like the landscape patio. Yep. And uh, and that and that whole layout, courtesy of my buddy Brian Callett, uh, brilliant graphic uh, graphic guy. Well, sure. let, let's do this, man. Um, I, I know so many of these guys wanted to see a quick uh, shop tour and all this stuff. What's uh, what's some quick, you know, final tips that you've been doing this for 20 years? You said. Um, know your oh, know your numbers, right? And I heard you and Bedell talking about like, well, that's so generic. What's that really mean? You got to know your numbers. We can delve into that on another podcast, right? Or like some of your past ones, or that one with Bedell is really good. Yeah. Um, keep your overhead low. Keep your, uh, you know, keep a manageable debt load. Try to stay out of debt as much as you can, if you can. Yep. And, um, you know, sell, sell, sell. That's the big thing you need to worry about. You can get people to produce. You can't get a lot of people to sell. Yep. So your job, I think, as a company owner, needs to be to sell work. You can hire the guys to, to get the work done, and that's the way we want to structure our company. Sounds good, dude. Well, hey, thank you for the quick tour. Absolutely. We really appreciate this. Uh, we were driving by. I said, hard left. We got to go into the shop <laughs> and go hang out. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, this is awesome, man. All right, guys. Well, where can they find if they want to know a little bit more? All of our, all of our handles at almond landscape llc twitter instagram snapchat tiktok you name it youtube whatever we're there so thanks brian heck yeah man all right guys well that's it for today we'll catch up with you guys on the next one heck yeah